My name is Jess and I am a part-time reseller. Why, hello, Jessica. My name is Jessica as well. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to, hello everyone. I don't wanna wave at you guys because I have, I'm in a hotel and I don't have a tripod, so I have this like rigged and if I touch my phone, it may fall down. So welcome, I'm going to do a thrift haul. I am here in Des Moines, Iowa and uh, doing an overnight stay. Tomorrow I'm gonna hit up the bins, which is the Goodwill outlet. And today I went to a dollar day sale. They have it every Thursday here in Des Moines. It's at St. Vincent de Paul thrift store and there's actually two thrift stores here in town. So I went to both and I of course got other things that are not a dollar, but I did find amazing things that were a dollar and I'm going to show it you guys everything, okay? So welcome, my name is Jess. If you're not familiar with me, welcome to Thrifting is My Beach. I also have a YouTube channel. Um, if you want to hop into the link in my bio, I do weekly shows, but since I'm away, I don't want to trust the Wi-Fi. So let's get started. Oh, I sell everything. I don't just sell clothes, and I sell on multiple platforms. I sell modern and vintage. So I'm very anxious. I want to open this right now with you guys. Okay, so this is sealed from the store, and um, blue, where's the tag at? Blue tags were half off. See, there's the price. So it was originally $8. I paid $4 for it. And I'll tell you why. Because here is a baptism bib. And I can see underneath there, it looks uh, vintage. See the tag? It says made in the USA. I think it's 80s or 90s. And there's something behind it. I'm guessing maybe a little blanket or a bonnet. So I figured I can make at least $4. I'm gonna open this with you guys and see what's inside. So ba baptism outfits, um, are resellable. It depends how elegant it is. So let's try to open this box. Oh my goodness. They really wrap this up well. And St. Vincent Thrift, if you're from Iowa, they have an actual, okay, so the one that's on Army Road, I think, uh, has a vintage section in the store where they separate vintage. And they don't really mark their vintage up, as I will show you, because I got a few pieces. Okay, so the first piece we have is a vintage satin baptism bib. It is made in the USA. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting, but yeah, there's a cross on it. Okay, so this looks like it was for a boy. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this little one piece. How adorable with a Peter Pan collar is white. It is in good condition. It's well cared for, and a lot of times these baptism outfits are handed down within the generations, within the families as an heirloom. So, yep, this is by Alexis is the brand. So yeah, that's very nice and white. And then here is, oh, I was correct. There is a bonnet and it's saying that this is six months, but it is vintage sizing. So it's probably like three to six months. Okay, and here is the blanket. It's a little like fringe blanket that came with it. And it has, oh, that is so cute. Do you guys see that? It's got a blue bow uh, sewn throughout as like a little trim. How cute. Oh, and this one is not handmade. There's a tag on it. So baby blankets uh, are kind of something you want to look for in the thrift store. You can get them super cheap. And um, because people will pay up for them. They'll have one as a kid, then they have their own kids, and they want their kids to have the same one. Or the kid loses it. So this one is by Heartbeat. Or Heart is Heartbeats. And it's made in Japan. That's very interesting. Most blankets I find are made in the USA. The vintage ones. Okay. So I paid four dollars for all of that. And I'm going to say I can probably get I'm gonna say I can get like 30 for the blanket and 30 for the boys' outfit, maybe 40 with the bib. Yeah, so not a bad investment for $4, right? And then it actually came in this little storage box, uh, like a little organizer. But it, in reality, just looks like a shoe box. Okay, let's see what other good things I found. Okay, I tried these on. Do you guys wear Crocs? I am a sucker for Crocs. These are brand new. Brand new. These are the all-terrain. I looked them up. Hi, Darlin. Thanks for joining. So, these are a men's size 7. And typically they would fit a women's nine, but I tried them on and they fit really wide. So it's like a roomy nine. So unfortunately, 
Now these are the iconic comfort ones. Uh, they were half off, so I paid $4.50 for them. $4.50 and they retail for like 50. Crocs, however, have a good resale value, especially if they're brand new. I think I can get $35 for these. If they're sold out um, on the website in this size and color, I could possibly get retail for them. So anyways, they are a hiking croc, which is really cool because who doesn't love to wear their crocs? All right, I'm going to kind of break it up. I'm going to do shoes first, okay? So these are, I love selling comfort shoes. I try to stay away from heels. Do you guys sell heels pretty well? Because I like pass. I saw quite a few Kohan heels today and I didn't pick them up because I can't sell heels. All right, so here we have an orthopedic sandal and it is a new brand to me. Uh, a Bio, oh, let me know if I'm mispronouncing that. Do you see it? These are just a nice cork sandal. And I did pay, these are, they called them men's. Is this red? Yeah, this is a red tag. So I did pay $6, or no, I paid $4.50 for them. So they have a lot of sales going on, depending on the color. Red is 25% off. So I paid $4.50 for these. And they flip between $35 and $45. All right, these shoes are so cute. I don't very often see Diane von Bersenberg uh, shoes. I typically see her clothing. But here we have a really cute uh, suede pair of peep toe laser cut heels. Real cute. Love them. They're in very good condition. They're like a tan taupey color. Look at that detail. So cute. And they have a zipper back. So I paid $4.50 for these as well. I haven't checked comps. Um, I know DVF is known for like her wrap dresses do really well, but uh, for the price, I'm like, you know what? I'll take a chance. And those are a size seven. All right, the last pair of shoes, I did not check comps on, but they were only a dollar. Uh, they were priced originally at $4, but orange tags in the store were just a dollar today. But I got them based off of style. They're a nice little short heel, but they're very pinup with the floral and the polka dot. Like, this is giving me total 1950s vibes. So, I looked this brand up, which is BC, because I live on the edge, which I think is a really cool uh, brand. But they only flip for, like, 15 Um So, I mean, a dollar to 15 is still okay. And they are brand new. So, I may be able to get a little bit more than 15 All right, I'm going to move the shoes out of the way. And I'm going to go into some vintage uh, linens. Okay, um, this is Darlene, the price right on point. So this is, was a dollar, and it's a baby um, by the company Dundee with two E's, a baby crib mattress cover. I'm going to try to get it, but the lighting here is like super bright, and it's probably going to wash it out, but it's got um, bears, bunnies, it's upside down. Hi, Sherry. Um, learn English with Sherry. This is my sister. Hello, Sherry. Uh, really cute animal print. So I'm going to sell it with the sleeping bag or bunting bag for a baby. And this is so cute. It's quilted. Very good condition. Very good condition. So the bunting bag sells between 50 and 60 and I'm actually going to sell them together, so I think I can get $75. And the comforter was, or the sleeping bag was $3. So $4 into $75 is good. Okay, so I spent a total of $95. Um, the number one brand I found the most that I actually picked up was Eileen Fisher which is a good bread and butter brand. I don't find it in my neck of the woods. I live in a rural area in Illinois. So we drove three and a half hours here and with my husband, we're staying overnight so I can thrift and he can shop. So here we have a linen Eileen Fisher light blue skirt. Uh, it's got really cute textured dot pattern on the bottom. It's like knee length. This was a dollar. 
$1 for Eileen Fisher, you cannot go wrong. Here's a brand I pick up if it's pretty um, elaborate. It's uh, Weisman, which is a girls or youth dance line. They also make adult clothing, but it gave me major Jojo Siwa vibes. Like at first I thought it was by Jojo, but then um, I looked at the tag and it's really good quality. They only had this with the leotard for $2. Do you see this? See all this? And it came with like a metal hair clip. It's very good quality. Yeah, it came with this. All of that for $2. I think I can get, it depends on the style, um, but it looks like to be in great condition. I think I can get 25, maybe even 30 for that. The typical tutu leotards, I can get like 15 to 24. Okay, I may keep these. These are reversible boutique skinny pants. Um, I love camo, I love camo, and it doesn't even have a size in them, but it's from the boutique, the Funky Zebras. Sherry, have you heard of those? It's based out of Iowa in Anarchy, Iowa. Anyways, okay, so here's one side, and the other side is like a washed out beige. It's almost like a gray. And like I said, I don't know the size, but they retailed for like $60. I did pay six for them, but based off of the style, I think I can get 25 or 30. They have those in, yeah, Anarchy, Iowa is what it said. Um, I've never heard of the brand, but the pants are super cute and I think they look like my size. Oh, I'm saying it wrong, Anne, Anne Kenny? I don't know. Can you tell I'm not from here? <laughs> okay. Next is Harley Davidson that was not marked up. So uh, St. Vincent Thrifts, I noticed they marked up Under Armour, but they had Nike not marked up and they don't mark up very much. There was one dress that was new with tags for a couple hundred dollars. They marked up to $20, but I'll sh excuse me, I'll show you a dress they, they missed. So just a Harley Davidson women's vest, a zip up vest, I love the back. Check out all the embellishment with the lace up detail and it was $2 and that's full price. It wasn't on sale. Hi Alicia. They only marked this for $2. I love it. That's why I drive three and a half hours here because uh, the thrifts here, their pricing is much better and they have sales and they have the Goodwill outlet. So I have never seen Eileen Fisher skinny pants. Typically when I find Eileen Fisher, it's uh, like a linen pant, but these are a pair of like, what do you call this? It's almost a mustard yellow, but it's like a tan color. There's a name for it. Okay, so Eileen Fisher, size 10. I don't see anything wrong with them, and they were half off. I paid $2 for these pants. Okay, the next one, you may be a little surprised, but I'll tell you why I picked it up. Okay, so this is just your typical silver. They used to be my favorite pair of jeans. Um, I think same with Sherry, my sister. We used to love this brand. Silver. Okay, and it is a slim boot. They are a uh, newer pair of jeans, but they are a size 16. The bigger sizes in silver sell really well. I think I can get like $30 for these. Um, yeah, I, I can't believe I found quite a few Eileen Fisher pieces today. So, and these were, um, these silvers were 25% off, so I paid $4.50 for them. And they're just like, you know, your standard slim boot, but because of the size, I picked them up. All right, guys, this is only, I think, my third time finding this brand. Let me know in the comments if you have flipped this brand before. Max Mara. Okay. So Max Mara is a higher end, well, I consider it higher end brand and um, just a nice skirt, knee length skirt. It does have a cool texture. It almost looks like a tweed, but it's just like a, a, a weave. I don't know. I'll have to look it up, but it is nice. Uh, however, I cannot find a size or material tag. So I'm sure it's in here. It's lined, so... It's probably under the lining. Okay, this next dress is an example of, um, oh yeah, Alicia, silver really uh, is like sh like good stretchy jeans. 
that give you support and like stay up. Uh, Cause I always have, I've, I have a problem with keeping jeans up. I have to always wear a belt. Okay, so here is an example of, even though it retails for a lot, doesn't mean it resells for a lot. I did not check comps and I probably should have, although I'm going to try to get some money out of it. So I did pay $6 for this and it is by a brand called Jill, Jill Stewart. I will show you, it is new with tags. And there is the retail price of $438. It is a gorgeous pink satin gown. It is floor length, it has a slit. It is very pretty. It is gorgeous. So yeah, it's got a high front slit, it's very sexy. And um, I didn't see any flaws on it. A lot of times when you get this satin, there'll be like snags or watermarks, but the comps on these dresses, guys, some of them were going for like a dollar. Now, granted, they I don't think they were brand new, but uh, I'm hoping to get 50. This may be an item to send to thread up because they base it off of the retail price. So I think I could still make a good profit, but I may try it like on Trade Z. Yeah, the pink dress, I hope I can get a stock photo of it because it is gorgeous. It's kind of like a slip dress. All right. This is only my second time finding this brand, and I'm probably going to say it wrong. It's Arcteryx, and they are a women's size 10 hiking, like, Bermuda. Actually, these are capris. They're like an olive green. They look washed out on here, but just a standard, like, a cargo capri. And these should sell, I don't know, $25, $30. I think I paid full price. Yeah, I paid $4, but Arcteryx is a very good brand. The next one, sorry, my pile's about ready to fall over. The next one I debated on, but I went ahead and got it. So this is the older athletic ta athletic tag, and I debated because it's an extra small. But they're a pair of black joggers. I did like the zipper detail, so I went ahead and got them, and they are joggers. So... I don't know. They also have butt pockets, which is interesting. So I paid $4 for those. And, you know, Athleta, unless it's a newer piece, um, I don't know what do you guys think, like 25 maybe 20 But Athleta, you get tons of views, and so I think it'll be a quick sell. Um, The Real Real to see, oh, that dress. And then Arcteryx, yeah, I've only found it once before, and it was a, like a romper. And I sold it, I think, for about $50 a couple weeks ago. Yes, I did buy the joggers. And there's actually another pair of really cute pants that was also Athleta. And I was checking them over, and the seam on the butt was actually loose. Thank goodness I looked because they were $6, and I wouldn't have been able to return them because I live so far away. All right, this next brand, I didn't check comps, but they were only a dollar. And when I check comps, I check comps on eBay. Uh, Poshmark always defers, and same thing with Facebook Marketplace. So even though the comps were crap on eBay, I think I can get um, at least 15 for these on like Facebook or Poshmark or maybe even Mercari. So this is a brand called Cooley Bar, and what caught my attention is that it's 50 um, SPF sunscreen. So this would be great for somebody that you know wants skin protection on their legs, and I think it's a size medium. Yeah, I try to look for flaws, especially if I'm paying um, more than just a couple dollars for an item. Um, Jane, is, that, is your name Jane? So I live in, like I live by the Monmouth, Monmouth Gelsberg, Illinois, and I drove three and a half hours to Des Moines, Iowa. So I'm in Des Moines, and I'm technically I'm staying in Urbandale, but they're like, right next to each other. And so every Thursday, St. Vincent de Paul thrift store has dollar day sales where a certain color is just $1. Then another color is half off. Another color is 25% off. So they have great sales. They have great customer service. And they, I feel like in my opinion, they have better brands than where I live. So I come here. Okay, now is a vintage single stitch shirt. It is a Scream Stars tag. I believe this is 80s. No, it is an adult small. So it would be a slim fit, but
but I love the graphic. It says the school Lake Park Lions. It's in a heathered gray. I don't know if you guys can see the single stitching. Yeah, you can see it. But it looks like, like there's no cracking. It almost looks dead stock. So great, made in the USA. Great shirt. How much did I pay for it? They had this in the kids section. Another tip. If you guys have time in the thrift, you should browse the boys, um, the boys' clothing because a lot of times they'll put vintage tees like from the 80s in the kids section because they think since it's so small, it's gotta be kids. Um yeah, I'm a part um I'm a part-time re reseller as well, so. All right, the next piece is a dollar. Orange tag was a dollar. It did um, have a TJ Maxx sticker on it, tag on it, but I'll take that off. It is just Zara Woman. I love this skirt. Absolutely love it. I'm trying to think of the size. I think it's a medium. So it's like a pleated skirt, but do you see when you twirl? It's got a, is that red? Yeah, it's like a burnt red. And this is a midi. I think it's like polyester. So yeah, I'll look up a stock photo for this. And um, it won't obviously be a big money maker, but it was a buck. So, and Zara, I always get a lot of views and uh, attention on them. And I think I've sold every single Zara piece I've had. Yes, I, oh, Alicia, I actually found Patagonia today. It was a pair of women's um, pants and it had, it didn't have like a huge patch, but it did say Patagonia like on the back pocket, but they had stains on them and I really didn't want to take a chance because I think they were $4 and I'm very cheap, so. All right, the next one is Diane Von, Diane Von Furstenberg. I always have a hard time saying that, DVF. This, I think it's her newer tag. And this is silk. It's really cute floor, micro floral. Um, or is it geometric? It looks kind of flowery to me, but it's like black and gray. Knee length, A-line skirt. Well, it's got a little bit of a flare to it. What do you guys think? Is it like a... F I don't know. But anyways, really cute. It looks brand new. I paid... Um... Like $3.25 for that. Yeah. I'm very cheap. Okay, so... I know a lot of people pass on Sanctuary, but I had a pair of black cargo pants that I personally owned, and uh, I got so many likes and so many watchers on eBay. I think I had like 12 watchers on a pair of black pants, like so basic. So I have a pair of green cargo pants, and they're size 32, which is a larger size. Well, not like, like, I'm trying to think what 32 is. Is it a 32, a 12, or is it a 14? I can't remember, but uh, really cute cargo pants, and they were $2. So if I can get 20 or $25, that would be great. The next piece, I hope I can find a stock photo. Looks like a po you're right. <laughs> it does look like the Pokemon ball. So sugar and lips. I think they're a pretty cheap brand. Like if you look up comps, they're probably not the greatest. I may keep this for myself, but it's like a smocked peasant tunic or a mini dress. I think it's off the shoulder. Alicia, this looks like something you would wear. Um, see how it's like, it's off the shoulder. It's got a puff gathered sleeve and it's like baby doll style. Really cute with the micro floral. It's got, I don't know, blue and orange and yellow. Really cute. It says it's a size large, so I may try it on. It looks, do you see how small that is? That looks so small, but it's smocked, so they really stretch. Anyways, I paid $1.50 for it, so you can't go wrong. Yeah, Alicia, I know, I know you're going to style. <laughs> okay, the next piece I also debated on, but I went ahead and got it. It's another sanctuary piece, and I'll wait and list this in the fall, which will be here before you know it. It is new with tags, that's one of the reasons I got it, but it's a black velvet loungewear turtleneck. So loungewear, I think, is gonna stay with us for a little bit, and it's a turtleneck, and it's velvet. So I paid, I didn't pay much for it. 
I paid two dollars for it and I'll sell it probably for 20. All right, this next piece, I posted a TikTok video. If you don't follow me on TikTok, you should. It's also Thrifting Is My Beach. Posted a TikTok video earlier of me going through the St. Vincent Thrift Vintage Kids section. Last time, I also made a video and they had tons of stuff. This time, they didn't have as much, but this was the first item I saw and I absolutely fell in love with this jumper. How adorable. It's like an apron, what do you call this? Like an apron dress, I think. And love the orange. This is in very good condition. Do you see the piping? Like how cute is that? Love it, love it, love it. And this is actually tagged. It is vintage Carter's. I don't know if it's 60s or 70s, but darling little piece. And it was half off. I paid $2 for it. So um, I don't know, like 30, but I'm just throwing these numbers out. I always check comps and um, go from there. Now, if you don't know, gauzy cotton clothing is a thing. So I found, oh my gauze. <laughs> Have you guys found this brand before? Um, wasn't it pretty big? Hi. Wasn't this pretty big in the 90s, this brand? Um, it's an orange, like, it's very bright. It doesn't look as bright on, on here, but... It's it's flared out a little bit. You see, it's got a little bit of a flare, and it's a maxi dress. And it's gauzy. Do you see, like, the, the thin texture of the cotton? It's gauze. Gauze clothes sell pretty decent. There's a following for it, so. The next is also, I've only found this brand one time. It's Millie. This is a Millie little girl dress. It's a size five. It is absolutely darling. Blue floral dress. And I paid a dollar. A dollar. Millie is expensive, if you don't know. Like, expensive. I think we are getting down to probably like the last five. Okay. So the next one, it, it probably doesn't resell for much, so I may just keep it, but this is Free People Beach. They have a beach line, and in my opinion, it doesn't look very beachy. It is a long-sleeved, oversized, like, tunic, and it's like a taupe, maybe gray. I don't know. I can't tell. The light's weird, and it dips down a little bit in the back compared to the front. It's just very... Um, oversized looks very cozy and it was a dollar um yeah the only other time alicia that i found millie was in a goodwill and it was a women's mini skirt new with tags and i think i paid seven dollars for it and i still have it i just listed it about a month ago so okay more eileen fisher guys not just one but it is a two-piece I got a two-piece light blue linen set. It's got, it's very, um, well, you know, Eileen Fisher just has like the, almost a lagging look, um, relaxed fit. So it's like a light blue, almost periwinkle button up. And it's got the pull on pants. I'm looking and it looks like it has a slit, like it may be missing a draw. No, there's no drawstring. Okay. Anyways, these are cropped. And I can see through them. So I don't know why they would make pants you can see through. But they are linen. So maybe this is something you would wear to the beach. I don't know. That is so weird. But I paid $6 for the set. So. Alright, this is the next piece is also a new brand to me. And the comps were all over the place from like $20 to $80. So the brand is Indigenous. They are known for their sweaters made with wool, alpaca, and organic material. This is a very soft cardigan, has a tie front, and this is organic cotton. It is very soft. I paid, what did I pay for this one? If I can find the tag. This one was like $3.25. All right. 
This is a knit Eileen Fisher skirt. I like this little pattern on it. It's like a charcoal gray and black. Nude thong. Yeah, that's what you would have to wear. Like I, I don't know. It's weird. They think, you think they would line the pants, but yeah, cause you can totally see through them. I'll have to know without my description too. So yeah, um, here's Eileen Fisher. This one is a size large. That should do well. This, here's a vintage piece, but I got it because it's 100% silk. It is canard. And it's like a charcoal gray. It almost looks black. Button, button up. And it does have the roll tab sleeve option, so you can roll it up, I think. Yeah, you can roll it up and make it into a short sleeve, so... I usually do decent with those kinds of tops, plus it's silk, so. And it was a dollar. Can't go wrong with a dollar. All right, guys. This is a controversial brand, but I do well with it because I know what pieces sell for me. So here we have LuLaRoe. It is a small, but as you know, some of their items are rather large, so I think it would fit a medium as well. It was half off, so I paid $3 for it. But I got it because it is like an acid wash tie-dye. It's gray, but it's one of those full length dresses that goes clear to the floor. They do well. I can get like 20 to $25 for these. I'm telling you guys. I don't get the crazy print things. Okay, here we have a vintage piece. This reminds me of something you would wear to a picnic. Love the colors, love the button front. It is pleated. It's like a knee length skirt, maybe even below the knees. And it is Land's End. I believe this is probably from the 90s. It's a size 10. It looks to be true to size. And I paid a dollar. So probably ask $25 for that. It was really cute. I could totally see somebody wearing that. I think we got two pieces left, all right? Yeah, um, you just kind of have to know what things sell what things sell for, and you can always check online. If you don't wanna, you know, take a risk, you can just make sure that it's a sought after style. So here's another brand that sells well for me. I just sold um, a sweatshirt for $30 this last week, and it is Life is Good. So this is a newer, they have a sideline called Good Move, and this is uh, Life is Good. They have inspirational quotes. Obviously, Life is Good, and here's on the back. It just says Life is Good. This is a women's. I consider keeping it, but I'm not huge into yoga. So, is it the tree pose? I can't. I don't know. It just says balanced, but it's in, like, new condition. It is so cute. I did pay $3.25 for it, but I think I can get it for $20. I can sell it for $20. And they um, always have watchers, and it, I think it'll sell pretty quick. I'm confident, I should say. All right, guys, here is the last piece, and it is something I did not know. This is very lag and looky. See how oversized and flowy it is? High, low, sheer. It looks like linen. I think it is linen or a linen blend. So this is a new brand to me, JP and Maddie. I paid $3.25. I looked up this JP and Maddie brand because I've never heard of it. And it's actually a line from the Sundance catalog. If you don't know, Sundance is a line that can sell, well, I think it sold, resold better maybe a couple of years ago, but I still do pick it up if it's a nice piece. So due to the style of this one, I definitely picked it up and I don't know how much I can get for it, but at least 20. Okay, yeah, life is good, can do decent. They make quality pieces. So, like I said, I paid $95 for everything here. And obviously I'll make a good return on my investment. So I'm going to save this video and I'll probably post it onto my YouTube channel in the next few days. Yes, lag and look. People love that stuff. I Unfortunately, I don't find it very often where I live, but one thing to know is 
I did not find tons of vintage before. I found really cool vintage. And this time it was more modern pieces, which is completely fine. Like I'll pick up whatever I can flip. But thank you for joining me, guys. Like I said, I'm going to post this video up on my YouTube. And if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you should think about heading over. The link is in my bio because I post videos like this. I post how to sell on Facebook. Um, I have a weekly show, typically on Thursday nights at 8 o'clock. But since I'm out of town, I went on Instagram. So I hope you guys are going to have a good night and a great weekend. I'll see you later. Bye.